Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'll be demonstrating how NetSuite can help optimize your company's ordered cash process. This demo will focus on the benefits for a wholesale distributor, but other industries like professional services, software, and manufacturing, to name a few, can also benefit greatly from NetSuite. At a high level, NetSuite is a cohesive ERP, CRM, and e-commerce solution that leverages a single database structure to house information throughout your entire enterprise. This means that your employees from all departments are leveraging all the same customer data, same item data, same financials, and more. This provides major efficiencies in the order to cash process, as we will see right now. I'm going to start the demo by, by assuming the role of a sales rep. And right now I'm looking at a sales rep, a potential sales rep dashboard that's tuned for how I want to manage my territory or, or run my business. If I want to initiate a sales order, I can do so right from the dashboard. Or if I want to initiate an opportunity, convert that to a quote, and then convert that to a sales order, I can do that as well. For the demo today, we're going to focus on just starting with an actual sales order. I'll enter my customer name. And now I can begin adding items to the order. I'll start by adding a, an, an iPad. And we see that I'm going to be fulfilling this from our Midwest distribution center. We also see that as a sales rep, I've got visibility into the inventory system, inventory management portion of NetSuite, so I can see the availability at any time and in real time of any item that's that I'm trying to sell. We'll change the quantity. And also, automated pricing occurs where the price a price level can be defined at the customer level, so I don't have to decide what the pricing is for this particular customer and this particular item. It's already been predefined for me, so I go ahead and it's now going to be they're going to be getting the 15% discount level. Also, NetSuite can automatically determine the, the sales tax to charge based on the customer's five-digit zip code based on their, in this case, based on their default shipping address. Go ahead and add that, and I'll add just a secondary, second item, maybe an iPad mini. Again, seeing real-time availability, and so on. We'll add that. Next, I can go ahead and calculate what the shipping cost is going to be to ship these items to the customer. NetSuite has real-time integration with carriers like UPS, FedEx and USPS to provide real-time shipping rates. So for UPS ground, I can simply calculate what the amount is going to be for shipping. It's automatically put them in there for me. Now if I look, I've got a, an order that's got the right amount for my the products, the shipping has been determined, and the sales tax. My next step is I just go ahead and determine uh, how we're going to bill them for this order. Now if we look at the top, we'll see that at the customer level, they have been given net 30 terms. If I look at the billings, billing availability, other payment methods are available, many others. So I could be using electronic payments, EFT, ACH, there's PayPal, and many other types of, of credit cards, including Visa. If I have a Visa card that may be a frequent card that they may use, I can keep that on file and use that information for future sales orders. We can do so because NetSuite is fully PCI compliant. For this one, though, we're going to go ahead and say we're going to be invoicing them and there won't be any credit card information needed. So now I've got a fully complete sales order and I'm going to go ahead and save this. I can choose to save in print or save in email uh, or based on customer preference it can automatically give them a printed version of the sales order. So in this case I'm just going to go ahead and save the sales order. Now that the order has been completed I can move on to my next tasks and let the warehouse take over to do their item fulfillment. So let's now change roles over to a warehouse operations role in our Midwest Distribution Center. And similar to the sales rep dashboard, now this dashboard can be tuned to, to the, have the information that's important to me as a warehouse operations manager, such as orders to fulfill reminders, orders to receive, orders to ship, items on back order, and maybe some information around late shipments, just as some examples. We're going to go ahead and, and, and fulfill, fulfill the orders. I'm going to bring up an order queue. 
By filtering my queue to just say I want to ship from the Midwest Distribution Center, we see we have only the one order that was just placed a few seconds ago that's now ready to be fulfilled. So there's many ways that I can be fulfilling these orders, but I'm going to go take a look at the order itself and go ahead and review this. And one of the first things I may want to do is print up a picking ticket for this. So let's go ahead and print a pick ticket. This would be more of a manual paper method as we see the printed pick ticket. Or with the use of NetSuite's optional WMS modules, I can view the order from a handheld device and walk through the warehouse scanning all the items on the order in a paperless fashion. So let's go back to our order. Now we've, got our, we've, picked, the, we've picked the items. Now we're ready to officially fulfill the order. Now, as we saw in the sales order where I was able to get real-time shipping rates, now the integration that we have with our carriers is going to allow me to leverage real-time integrated shipping labels. In this case, we're going to print up a UPS ground label, and optionally, we're going to print up a, a UPS return shipping label. Also note that in some environments, we may want to have different people picking an order, different individuals packing, and then somebody else at the shipping station shipping the order. So NetSuite does support that pick, pack, ship process. In our example here, more simplified, we're just going to send this to a ship status. We have our items that are on the order. Now we want to determine some package information. So based on the packaging we've chose, based on the, the carriers we're using, we may need to validate and put in some package content information. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. We'll say we're shipping iPads. And now that we've done that, we can just go ahead and say save and print labels. Very simple. Now in reality, it's going to go print to a, a, a official label printer. But for our demo purposes, we're going, to, we're going to print these up into a PDF. And we see here we've got the, the outbound shipping label as well as the return shipping label that can be put in the box for convenience for the customer. Now let's go back to the fulfillment. And as we saw, we printed the, those shipping labels, but we also now have access to the package tracking numbers for those for those for those shipments. As we briefly mentioned on the sales order, by customer preference, I can choose whether I want to automatically send a either a sales order notification or a fulfillment notification or an invoice. In this case, we now see that a fulfillment notification has been sent via email directly to the customer, and it's also been saved on my fulfillment record. If I go ahead and view that. As a customer, I can go into my inbox. I can see that, I, that my order has shipped. I've got the details of what was shipped, and I've got a handy link to be able to go and do some self-service to manage the tracking situation of my packages. This saves me time as a customer. It also saves time as a distributor, not having to answer some of those non-value-added questions, such as, you know, where is my package uh, at this moment? Now that the shipment's been completed, and the sales order is now ready for billing. So let's transition to the accounting role and invoice the customer. As an accounting user of NetSuite, I can have a dashboard that's now tuned for my responsibilities, which includes creating customer invoices. So for my, my reminders of sales orders to invoice, this can provide me with a real-time list of all orders that are ready for billing. The warehouse no longer has to compile a list of shipments made each evening and put a stack of paper on my desk for me to process, which is going to save me a lot of time and a lot of effort. So I simply review my list of orders to invoice. And if I want to bulk invoice all these, I can go ahead and do that, mark all of them. For our example, we're going to go ahead and just process a single invoice, which is the one that we just created and just fulfilled. So we see it in real time in my queue to bill. Before we do that, though, note that there's different order types that can exist. So we have an invoice order type and a cash sale order type. We mentioned earlier that NetSuite supports credit card payments. So when a customer places an order and uses a credit card as a payment, NetSuite's automatically going to create the credit card authorization for the total amount of the order. When I choose to invoice it from this screen, cash sales are then captured and the funds of the card are then transferred to my merchant bank account. Now, in our example, we're, we've got a customer that's going to be a terms customer, so we're, we're literally going to create an invoice for them as opposed, to, as opposed to capturing a credit card. So we had an invoice our iPads that we just shipped. 
Now, from an accounting standpoint, I can review the invoice, make sure it's coded correctly. I've got all the information that's been uh, entered in from the sales order to the fulfillment items that we see here. And then I can go ahead and, again, say save in email, save in print. In our example, again, though, our, our customer has been pre-configured to have preferences that say whenever I create an invoice, I want that invoice to be directly emailed right to that client, right to that customer. So as I reviewed that invoice that we just generated, we'll take a look at the activities tab and we'll see that yes, a, an email just went out to them notifying them that, they're, that there's an invoice. The customer can go ahead and again look at their message and they'll have an attachment that they can drill into to see an electronic version of that invoice. Also, because NetSuite is a real-time accounting system, any transaction that is technically supposed to impact the general ledger will do so in real time. As we see here, I've got my AR account has been hit, sales accounts, shipping income, and the sales tax accounts that we talked about before. So the impact of that is that at any given time, my indicators on my dashboards, my key performance indicators, my metrics, my, my graphs are all up to date. So if I want to drill into my sales metric, I can do so, drill into Denver Technology Supply, and see that last order that we just put in for those iPads. From more of a financial reporting standpoint as well, real time, I can go in and maybe look at a KPI around profit, which is going to drill right into an income statement. A real-time income statement that also has my sales GL account that, that's been impacted by the same order that we just created. Once invoices have been generated to, to, to customers, I can easily track open invoices using my AR aging report. And here, here we see we've got an open invoice, some alt, multiple open invoices to Denver Technology Supply including the one that we just created today, which is zero days old. So we'll drill into that invoice and see that information that we just saw earlier. Now as invoices age, I can automate the collection notification process by leveraging NetSuite's SuiteFlow workflow engine, as we see an example here, and send customer emails based on user-defined criteria, such as days the invoice has been open, the value of the invoice, or anything else, any other criteria that I see fit. So this example, we've got maybe the number of days open, the, the value of it can send one particular type of email. But as that invoice gets a little bit older, it may send another reminder email with a different tone, different verbiage. And it can also uh, notify the sales rep of this customer that they may be there, they're behind in their payments, they need to make a phone call. And lastly, you can even put that customer on credit hold automatically. So these are just one of the examples of the value of NetSuite's SuiteFlow workflow engine. So let's go back to our invoice and we can accept payment now against that invoice. Or we can accept payment against multiple invoices. As we saw, we had multiple invoices that were open from our AR aging. If the, if the customer were to send us a bulk check against multiple bills, then we can just auto apply those or manually apply those. In this example, we'll be just applying it to the order that we just generated for that amount. And we'll go ahead and we'll say we're going to hit undeposited funds and we'll save that payment. Now in the payment method here, we're going to use checking a check. So let's put in the, the check amount that was sent to us and the check number. Again, we talked about many other different payment methods, electronic payments, credit card, and so on. In this case, we're just going to accept a check. And we'll save that payment. So to recap the flow we just walked you through, I entered a sales order as a sales rep. It seamlessly went to the warehouse for fulfillment, including automated shipping labels. The AR department was able to invoice the customer immediately and easily accept payment. And this was all possible because all the employees involved use one unified system, NetSuite. Finally, to summarize some of the many benefits of NetSuite in the order to cash process, you achieve improved shipping and billing accuracy by leveraging the same customer information throughout the entire order to invoice process. Speedy, accurate invoicing improves cash flow by getting invoices into customers' hands sooner. NetSuite boosts the finance department's collection capabilities 
with both real-time aging reports and automated invoicing. If the customer's past due, NetSuite's SuiteFlow workflow management tool can help automate and manage each organization's unique collection process. And also with cash collections, it's easy to accept payments either by cash, check, electronic payment, or, or credit card, and PCI compliance provides peace of mind for secure payment management. This concludes the demonstration of the order to cash process within NetSuite. Thank you.